Hey, what's going on guys? Mills here bringing you another Destiny video. In today's Destiny video, we're going to be showing you how to cheese Valis Tark and the Cerberus Bay um, Strike. So pretty much when you come into this area after the tank, you're going to come into the area where you got to enter the ship to uh, encounter Valis Tark. So what you're going to do is you want to go towards the way I'm going, underneath the platform. You see some hoses in here, you're going to kind of jump in here. You should look up and see it kind of looks like a pretty much like a big old gaping hole. You just jump up right through onto this little area right here. Jump up again, you see my teammates going through the normal way. And we're gonna go this way, right over there. Jump over here. And pretty much jump right over to that direction. I'm gonna jump up, don't get scared, you're gonna see it kinda look a little weird for a second. And still looks kinda weird, but that's okay, we're just gonna keep jumping. And you're gonna get to this area, and we're gonna go this way, right up on top of this area. And you're gonna jump kind of right into that area over there. Just don't go too far left right here, because you could fall and pretty much die. So right here you can see there's a wall. And you can kind of see right into the room there, but we're gonna jump one more time, and right, just move forward just a little bit, and bam. You're right there, there's my teammates right there running around, getting ready, booyah. Do a little dance before we do a little romance. So we're going to make sure we uh, change over to my LDR, uh, arc damage. And pretty much you want to make sure that the sniper rifle you're using has the armor piercing rounds, because this is going to go through that wall, the invisible wall that's right in front of you. If you don't have it, it's not going to work. So here we go. Boom, boom, boom. The only problem with this spot is you can't revive your teammates, uh, but this is a great way if you want to do the solo nightfall. You know, pretty much, you can't go down. It's a good guarantee you can't go down when you're up here. So, because normally the, your your teammates are going to go down here and there, um, and if they're with you on your friends list, they can rejoin on you if possible. Especially if you're doing nightfall. Uh, doing the weekly, I don't, I'm not really sure if this is necessary, but uh, that's a good way to kind of make sure to take care of him pretty quickly. Now we're going to speed it up just a little bit. Also, uh, I recommend using the icebreaker. Uh, glitch where you, when you run out of ammo, you switch over to your icebreaker, just chill. You're gonna wait for it to charge up. As soon as it hits six, you switch back to your rifle, your some regular sniper rifle that you're using, and bam, you just keep going to town. Usually, you're gonna do that a few times before you can use your uh, synthesis. Looks like I have a teammate that's in another spot over there. And just keep pounding them, guys. Yeah, he'll actually just, he'll kind of come up and look at you. But he really won't do anything. Um, and uh, when you're on your own, you'll probably get a lot of his little minions shooting at you, but they can't do anything to you. Pretty much immune, and there he goes. We got him. Down for the count. Battle Star, the, the bullet sponge, he's gone. Well, guys, uh, that's it for this video. I hope you like it. If you find it useful, make sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And uh, for some more footage of Destiny. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.